thanks everybody. Uh, I'm back. This is Nate Bauer again. I'm the director of the University of Alaska Press and I'm here with Hayo Eichen, who's the director of the International Arctic Research Center. The book we're talking about um, here is called Community-Based Monitoring in the Arctic. Um, it's, a, it's a big collaborative work and it's something that is, a, it's a new publication. It's just out this year. It's, it's exciting to me. It's thrilling actually as a member of the public. When I see and experience a project that is, that has an explicit focus on, on bridging uh, the gaps that exist between uh, research and, and academia and uh, practical lived conditions of, of people. And that seems like it's definitely a focus of this work. Um, the, the name, it's in there in the title of the book, community-based monitoring is maybe something that not everybody is familiar with. Can you describe what community-based monitoring means? Sure, yeah. So community-based monitoring is monitoring, those are sustained longer-term observations of environments or, or other environmental variables, in this case, in the Arctic. Um, and they're not being conducted in the usual sense where you have university researchers or government researchers who are sitting outside of the Arctic often, or certainly outside of Arctic villages, Arctic communities, Arctic networks, um, instead of them saying, here's what we want you to measure, um, you have the community itself, in the strictest sense, you would call it community-led or community-driven monitoring, um, identify, here's what's important to us, this needs to be observed. Um, some parts of community-based monitoring may also be more along the lines of what's known as citizen science, where you do have um, citizens who are collaborating with the professional researchers. But um, in this particular book here, the focus is specifically on community-driven monitoring. In particular, a lot of these networks are led or driven by indigenous peoples in the Arctic. Um, and so it's, it's an important aspect of understanding Arctic change uh, also in a much more holistic fashion at the local scale, the scale of each particular community um, uh, as compared to more of the way the university type research would go in and start to sort of try to pull things apart and just focus on one particular element without really understanding or knowing the broader context. Fascinating stuff, Io. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Um, thanks for your contributions uh, to this volume and, and to your work um, on behalf of the university, on behalf of the press. And um, if people have more questions about this book or any of our other publications, please don't hesitate to contact me uh, at the email address there, nate.bauer at alaska.edu. Thanks very much.